Hello guys, Scuzzy here, and today I have another Minecraft mod review. This time it's on a mod called Carts Mod, and uh, it's by a man named Minecraft. And you can see what it adds right here. It's uh, these little carts, and it's actually really cool. Uh, essentially, what it does is you can pull these carts around with you in the world, and actually customize them with things like chests, workbenches, and even furnaces. And um, they're very helpful. So we'll jump right into it here. First chest here, I have the wool gloves, and they're made kind of like an upside down, uh, upside down hat of wool. And uh, you'll get a pair of wool gloves. That's what you need to actually pull the carts. Uh, next one is boards, just kind of what you need to build it out of, and it's just uh, wood across the bottom. To make wheels, you need uh, kind of like a diamond of wood and planks with a stick in the middle. And finally, to make the actual cart, it's set up quite logically actually. It's uh, two wheels, the boards enough you know four in the corner and two sticks as the handles and you'll get an empty pull cart and when you get it you can right click the ground and place it down and you can see it right here as you can see it's pretty simple um, I'll now demonstrate pulling with your gloves in your hand when you right click the cart it'll actually start following you as you can see in the bottom left and it'll just fall wherever you go and I, you can actually you can't actually sprint with it as you see I'm trying to sprint right now and apparently the cart moves, yeah, it moves different speeds on different surfaces. So for grass, it's not very quick. And as soon as you reach uh, something like stone, you can see there's a little bit of a speed up. And cool thing, you can actually push the cart too. It doesn't go quite as quick. So yeah, that's kind of the basic cart. There's really no, not much of a use for it. And as you can see, right clicking it again will make it stop following you. These are the uh, carts that I'm going to make useful. Now with something like a chest in your hand, you can actually right click the cart. You'll put a chest in it. Right click with the workbench, you'll put a workbench, and right click with the furnace, you'll put the furnace in. And you can see right here, nothing really different except for they have the uh, things in. It's obviously the same pulling thing, you can see they're following me now. And I'm not quite sure why the other wheels are spinning, but... So yeah, that's that. And uh, if you don't have your glove in your hand, when you right click with uh, something like a, the a pull cart with the chest in it, you can actually put items in it, and they will follow wherever you go. Which is actually really cool and helpful. Obviously, a workbench, it's the same thing, except when you right-click the cart. Here, I'll make a day. When you right-click the cart, you can open up the crafting table. And the furnace, you, uh, it can actually burn while you're pulling it. So, I'll pull it now, take a little bit of a stroll over here. And you can actually see behind it, it leaves this cool little trail of flames. And I'll stop right here. And as you can see, it got some iron done which is really cool and uh, I should note um, you can actually destroy these carts once you have them down you just tap them a couple times and they'll separate into the two components you made them out of so that's pretty much everything for this mod um, as I said very simple to install it it's just dragging the files into your jar or um, I think you can just place it in a mods folder um, very easy mod uh, pretty cool actually and yeah so if you guys enjoyed this don't forget to subscribe to uh, my my channel <laughs> like the video um, obviously I'll have a link in the description to check out this mod give the author some support pretty cool mod that's everything for today guys so thanks for watching scuzzy out Hwah!